Hey guys, it's Ashley and welcome to another one of my Pretty Little Liars recap for Season 6, Episode 6, No Stone Unturned. This episode was very, very boring in my opinion. And not much really went on until the last 5 minutes I feel like. I mean, there were like some funny moments, you know, Hannah, she was pretty funny and, you know, she had a badass moment. It was like a Halo making out session, which that was good. Like, come on, we're getting closer and closer to episode 10. Can it not be like a slow episode? What's with all this fillers and why is Sarah still here? Why does Emily have to be in a relationship all the time? Come on, why can't she be a free, independent woman like she is? Like. Literally, why does she have to be in a relationship at all times? The episode starts off with Spencer and Emily talking and they're debating whether or not Leslie is Charles or Leslie is A and Emily doesn't think so. And then there's this whole thing with Hannah um, pretending to be Leslie, I guess. Or, well, just trying to steal Leslie's key to get her car to get Leslie's car one funny part that tells the guy that I don't know where I left my key and she checks her pockets because the guy asks her oh did you check your pockets and your purse and whatnot and then she looks like she checks for her the keys in her bra and I thought that was so funny um, yeah she kind of acts like she's all hopeless can't find the keys and so the guy gives her the keys like, oh I think I know which one you're talking about and so gives her Leslie's car keys and she drives away with Leslie's car meets up with Spencer and they find a bunch of glasses like pairs of glasses like Leslie's glasses and so Hannah puts one on and she's like oh I think I can see better and then we find out they were in fake glasses why does Leslie need that many glasses I, you know and then we find these big cages animal cages that could fit humans into it at the back seat or the trunk yeah so now spencer is onto leslie thinking leslie is charles sneak into this lab with a raccoon and a bunch of rats caged up raccoon gets escapes mona shows up and then we find out that bethany and charles both escaped radley the same night that Allison disappeared. Leslie wanted her to get the Radley file because she doesn't want anybody knowing that she's mentally unstable, that she was there, and she's pretending to be stable. But who knows anymore? Like, who really knows? Literally, they make us wait like two weeks without any episode or one week without any episode. And they return us with this, like, <gasps> Like what? What is life? In the beginning of the episode, Mr. D gets a card on his windshield wiper. Excited and he's like all oh, like like panicking and then he asks Emily who's riding her bike to see who put this on my car. Did you see anyone in the street the past few minutes? And we find out at the end that it was a birthday card from Charles. I'm returning from my birthday party or it was something like that. I don't really remember. But Mr. D is digging up Charles' grave and someone is watching him. There's a scene with Arya and Clark at the junkyard again. There, Arya finds a doll that looks like her, like with the pink streaks and a knife in one of the eyes. And then she brings it home because there's a conversation with her and Ezra. I don't really remember what they were talking about. <laughs> but Ezra sees the doll in her bag and Arya just kind of covers it up, like lies to him, saying, oh, that was me, I did that for my photography. Okay, you keep lying like that. There's this incident where Sarah gets hit, I guess, by supposedly Leslie's car. Supposedly Leslie, but I don't think it was Leslie. It was probably some other car or maybe a car that looked like Leslie's car or maybe it was someone else driving Leslie's car. I don't know. Emily comes home and Sarah has like a bloody arm and hand She's scrubbing the blood off of Emily's carpet like, oh my gosh, cut on her forehead. And she says that someone hit her with a car. Emily shows her a picture of Leslie's car saying, oh, was this the car that hit you? 
and she's like, yeah, I think it was. Like, I, I don't know. I don't really trust Sarah. Like, and then there was this new character, um, Emily's friend. She comes in to Ezra's brew, and it looks like something might be happening between that new girl and Ezra because they were seen talking, and Arya's kind of looking at them. But anyway. This girl is Emily's friend and um, she asks Emily if she wants to go on some kind of trip thing to South Africa, I think it was. Emily first says that, oh yeah, my friend can come along and obviously she means Sarah. And then afterwards she said, no, she can't go because her friend is in danger and she needs to be there for her friend. And you know, I know Emily is a good friend and all, she's too nice. Just a little too nice sometimes, but Sarah, like, come on, is she really that helpless? Like, uh, why is she there? And then the end, we get a Sarah and Emily kiss. I don't know if anyone was happy with that. I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like their bond is too forced. Like, I don't see a connection between them. All I see is Sarah acting really like innocent and like a lost puppy. Like she can't defend for herself and Emily just kind of being there for her and like I don't know I just feel like it was too forced this relationship you know I feel like this relationship is gonna end like really soon considering it's almost 610 in the beginning of the episode Caleb was kind of like sad you know that Hannah's not acting herself and there was a moment with Caleb and Ashley they were talking about Hannah about like they want the old Hannah back and then there was a Halo makeout session, which, which was amazing. Girls, they find out they're chipped in their neck, like A surgically put it in their neck, I guess, under their skin, because there's like a lump. And when they press on it, it hurts. Like, that's scary. That's some scary stuff happening. We get a flashback from the dollhouse. Hannah sees the raccoon in cages. She sees like all these flashbacks from the dollhouse, like being caged and locked up, I guess. Not much information. <laughs> yeah. So this episode was pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty boring. I'm hoping next week will be much better. The promo looks good, but we all know that they exaggerate promos all the time. Looks like we're gonna see a flashback of what happened that night. It looks like we see whoever, I don't know if we're gonna see whoever hit them, you know, like the actual face or whatever, but it looks like we'll see you know the rock because we see the rock in hand and then we also see like a little boy and from looks like in radley or something so that could have been charles when he was in radley but it looks really interesting so yeah tell me your thoughts in the comments what you guys thought um and if you think charles is indeed alive or dead because that was the whole hashtag charles is alive again first they say charles is alive well people thought he was alive then they say he's dead and now he's alive again like they're just trying to trick us i still think that he's dead though and i know that's not really a popular theory but i i still think that he's dead and i still think someone else cc is pretending to be him but yeah we all have our own theories and opinions and whatnot and i just don't really know anymore <laughs> But yeah, sorry this recap was boring. There's not much to talk about. Bye guys, peace out.